local man who's trying to help others and says he has some very important items to just give away. We're talking about free wheelchairs. News 8's Tina Detail has that story. This effort began when Phil Pavone got a couple of motorized wheelchairs here at AZ Pawn. Now he put them up for sale, but no one bought them. So he decided to give them away and he got 60 responses. So he bought two more wheelchairs, gave all four of them away, and then it never stopped. All these chairs are motorized, Tina. Uh, throughout the year, we buy and take donations of motorized chairs, uh, refurbish them, and give them away to the handicapped at Christmas. Phil Pavone now has a room full of wheelchairs, nearly 50, to give away this holiday season. This is going to be our fifth year. Uh, to date, we've given out well over 100 chairs, which is ridiculously good. And helpful to those who cannot afford to buy their own or whose insurance doesn't cover the cost. A lot of these people can't get out of bed. They can't walk. Some are uh, amputees. Some have MS. Uh, it changes their whole life and changes their family's life. A couple of years ago, we went along with Pavone when he delivered a motorized chair to Napoleon. Merry Christmas to you. Who was paralyzed on his left side by a stroke. He was depressed and dependent on others for almost everything. I wouldn't be able to go nowhere. We just got an update on him. He goes outside by himself, uh, goes to the cafeteria by himself, and it's been a godsend. It's changed his whole life. And it has changed Pavone's life, too. If you need one of these chairs, send him a letter. Tell him your story. Volunteers help refurbish the chairs, and Pavone spends about $10,000 each year for this gift of mobility. It's worth it. When you see the smiles on their face, when we give them away, there are a lot of tears, and they're all happy ones. That's a good thing. Once Pavone saw there was a need, he needed to do this. Now, he expects to give all these chairs away this holiday season. In Norwich, Tina Detell, News 8.